Okay guys, welcome back. It has been a while, the official return of the TXG podcast. Good to be back. Yeah, I feel employed again. My podcast is uh, taken away from me. Now we're back, the three amigos. The, the three amigos are yes. well and truly back. We've got a new setting. This is uh, nice. This is really good. We're it's in a very, proper studio. Very legit. Yeah. Very proper. Move over, Joe Rogan. I know. Mikey's <laughs> already been singing us a few songs. And, well, but uh, no, really good to be back. I think we've talked about doing this for quite some time. Yeah. yeah. We've had a lot on the go, obviously, start of the season. There's been tons we've been reviewing on the channel. We've had lots going on in the studio. There's just been a lot to get through, but this was always high in the agenda to get the podcast going again. Yeah, I mean, when, when Ryan and I had our podcast, we had good feedback. People liked it. People would listen to it yeah. on their way to the yeah. on their way to work and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's always good information. We always talk about, you know, the week leading up to a major, you yeah. know, get our picks in kind of thing. People love that stuff. So it's, uh, this is fun. This will be good. Yeah. We're going to have this as a weekly, uh, weekly segment, yeah. uh, guys. So, you know, you'll see it, you'll, you'll hear it. You know, I think that's the, the beauty of having it in studio here is you can consume it any which way you mm -hmm. want. A la Joe Rogan, like no, you yeah. said. Joe Rogan, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think a lot of people said that to us. Like if our old podcast initially, I think we just did audio at the very start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we got some feedback saying, hey, would you also video it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we kind of dabbled in a little bit, but obviously this is the proper way to go about it. This is yeah. it. Yeah. good. Proper, mm -hmm. proper stuff. So uh, I think going forward today, we wanted to just do a little welcome back mm -hmm. uh, to the pod, mm -hmm. reintroduce the, the the kind of format, what we're going to be doing in the next, you know, months yeah. weeks and months yeah uh it will be we will have guests uh coming on with us you know weekly most likely uh it's a really cool uh diverse group of guests who'll be on with us golfers coaches um you know athletes. different athletes yeah. that we've you know yeah. we've managed to kind of or that we've got to know reasonably well now and through golf right through golf, yeah. which is cool yeah, yeah and they've got a passion for it the way we do and mm -hmm. we interact with these these uh, people a lot online and yes it'll be it'll be awesome to hear their stories and totally. hear how golf uh, has impacted them in their lives and, and why they love it as much yeah. as we do. Mm -hmm. We lost that, which, uh, which will be awesome. So uh, we are uh, week of the Players Championship. Yeah, it kind of snuck up on yeah. me a little bit. I kind of didn't realize it was because yeah. they moved it. It used to be in May. That's so right. now That's it does right. feel. Yeah. I like that it's now because it's in a run of really big tournaments. Yeah. Like yeah. the last month has been like mm -hmm. just great stuff. It yeah. really has. PJ Tour has been, I mean, they've been showing their, their strong hand, haven't they? Oh, yeah. Uh, with these events, I mean, obviously, waste management is mm -hmm. turned into a real big event, and then mm -hmm. follow that with Riv. Yeah, Riv's a good one. Obviously, Arnold Palmer last week, mm -hmm. you know, big, big, strong field always turn out for the king, and uh, and then follow that with the players. I mean, yeah, we're not far away from the best week in golf. Well, either. we were just so, talking about that on a, like a, like a business call today. We we're trying to do some planning, and it's yeah. like, oh, the Masters is kind of coming up. And yeah, like, oh, it is coming. Yeah, it up. is yeah. coming up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just a, a few, month and a bit away. Weeks. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. No, it's awesome. So. Players is always a bit of an interesting one, tough, tough test. You know, now that it's in the earlier slot, you yeah. can sometimes have weather. That's the, uh, that's that plays the factor a bit now. Apart. Chilly mornings, yeah. yeah. It used to be just like, you know, for our American friends, you know, in the 80s and yeah, kind totally. of summer weather. Yeah, Florida, yeah. Yeah, but now I think the last few years and it's like 50s, 60s at times. Yeah. If mm -hmm. you have an early tea time, the wind kicks up. Mm -hmm. So it's, I think, I don't know if the scores have gone affected by it i would imagine over time mm -hmm. this time slot will probably or this you know year slot will be tougher totally. more like a major totally Def. i think that's the same thing for the pga is now the first major of the year that's in yes. rochester in may i mean listen i've played golf in yeah. ontario in may it's yeah. just across the, the lake it's gonna be cold it, it might be it, it yeah. might be okay it might be okay or I feel like it could be frosty mornings totally, I totally agree totally. you have a coin flip it's either going to be really nice yeah. or it's going to be kind of crap yeah yeah, yeah. it really 100%. yeah that, i mean that's i never really could have thought yeah. that it's that close not by. far from us it's at all far. two hours from, two it. hours yeah yeah yeah, that'll no, be interesting. That's a big golf course as well. Big hell, golf hell of a course. golf course too. Yeah. Big golf course. You, yeah. you played it? No, I played somewhere played close it. by, but right. I definitely yeah. need to get that done. Yeah, yeah. So, any, any? I mean, obviously, there's there's some former horses going into this week. Mm. Uh, John Ram uh, has has been incredibly consistent. I, feel I think like he'll be one to watch. Yeah, I don't think Rory. he's finished outside the top seven in his last nine starts or something. I've seen his bank account is large. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, he's, he's not even thinking away. about the coin yeah. at this point. He's no. just he's just racking up trophies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, obviously, Rory played there well before, won it. Mm -hmm. Kind of alluded last week like he wasn't kind of feeling like his game was quite there. So, mm -hmm. hmm. not you know not a great week to come in if you don't if you don't quite have it. Odd for him to say that, considering he almost won last week. Yeah, he almost just, won. As I he said won to in you, Dubai. Won uh, in Dubai. Yeah. Like, I think he just think didn't if, make many putts. I think if his back heels, I think Spieth could be a contender for the players. He's That's just been point. like sneaky good the last couple like, weeks. A lot of top tens. Um, yeah. But yeah. at Arnold Palmer, he was he hit a couple of those 
drives that Tiger would hit in like 13 and then kind of <laughs> yeah. like collapse. Yeah. I think if Spieth's back is fixed, he could be a player's champ. Yeah. I mean, Ricky obviously has played well in mm-hmm. the past uh, at Sawgrass and he's been training with some nice finishes sometimes just driving in those gates, you know, yeah. nostalgia kicks. On the flags. Yeah, exactly. Totally. Past champion. I mean, I'd love to see him win that. Oh. It would be great, wouldn't yeah. it? JT will be a, a factor. Yeah. I'd be shocked mm-hmm. if he wasn't. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's... It's tons of guys, no, right? Xander. I mean, can't, Xander's been you playing can't well. not say Max has mm-hmm. a chance either. Max has been Holmes playing great. Been, right? been really good. Actually, Cantley's been sneaking around he top sneaky. top tens of leaderboards without. With when um, uh, Kurt made that triple on nine, yes, and he was way ahead, and he you know he came back to eight along with everyone else, and and Cantley at the time was at seven under, mm-hmm. like he was right there without really playing well enough yeah, to ever true. really be there, so. You know, he's another one that plays well in yeah. tough golf courses. He gets on fire with ball striking. Yeah, he could get yeah. way, way ahead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's t- I mean, it's a tough course. It's so what's this, course. a first PJ Tour event where the defending champ isn't there because they've gone to live? Yeah, I think so. And Cam, I, Cam I, Smith won it last oh, year. Yeah. I saw a bunch of stuff. Have you seen I, this I stuff? I saw a little PJ around? Tour thing. He and, literally said he's like joking, like, oh, I kind of want to go and, yeah, yeah. and follow it. Yeah. And they were just sort of, it, it, it's starting to get a little sticky because, yeah, defending champ isn't mm-hmm. there. And he lives there now. He moved to... Uh, Point is of that or whatever, so yeah. he was like, "I'll be walking in the crowd." That's like, hilarious. It's, good luck. It's awkward. Good luck with a disguise on that. Yeah, haircut. No like I think you'll see him a mile yeah. away. Yeah. yeah, I know. I mean, I don't know if if you would really want that that type of, you know, I mean, he's going to get some stick. There's going to be lots of fans for him. He's good, mm-hmm. good dude, and stuff like that. Good player. But, you know, there's going to be there's going to be some people who don't just know, be soured about aren't, it. Aren't well, yeah. you know, aren't happy that he's there. Not welcome. It's, on like just, it's just disappointing. All I think when I got the full list of lives players yeah i think he was the one that i kind of went ah that sucks yeah. Yeah, yeah you know the other guys i'm not gonna say there was no other ones that i was bummed about but him yeah. in particular was kind of like ah that's not i think sawgrass what well, that's head office for pj tour yeah. so they yeah. probably got him big... on a hit list you know he's do not, not do not no, allow he's through the not gates. Getting in the gates no <laughs> yeah. no well we'll see i mean uh who would uh it will be another great week and it's just mm-hmm. as you said leading up to the masters i mean yeah. how does live compete with with this schedule and like how do they compete for the audience's attention do they just hope that people get interested in golf mm. and then as a byproduct pay attention to them when they're on because obviously the PGA Tour is so strong? I just, I don't really have a gauge of, of that. It's a good question. I mean, I think, un- unfortunately, they're, if you go by their TV ratings yeah. the first week, they didn't do well. Right. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if that's the only barometer of it because they have their own app now. Mm-hmm. I yes. don't know if they might still be streaming on YouTube. I don't so even, they, honestly, I don't even know. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure where their audience comes from if it isn't just people who are like ah, i'm sick of the pga tour like yeah, i'm yeah. a live guy now it's so like one yeah. or the other it's yeah. almost like it's like turning into like a it's like golf's version of politics mm-hmm. yeah it's like you just don't talk about yeah. in case you Which offend someone you are. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what if i offend someone who yeah, likes yeah. and i've yeah. done it who really mm-hmm. likes live and i'm like i'm off on a tangent and the guy's like well i thought that's all i, I watch now i'm just like yeah. Oh, okay well, sorry yeah, good yeah i mean, yeah. If I mean you, go for listen, it if you if you're into it yeah and and you you know you you can follow the team element as strongly as they're pushing the team element if maybe your favorite player or players went over to live and you go, you know what, that's that's where I want to. I don't know. You know I'm not going to yeah. call anyone no. out. If mm-hmm. somebody chimes into me and says, like, you know, I don't, I don't know, you know, why you guys aren't more pro live. I'm not, I'm not anti live. I just don't live no. much care for it. Yeah. It's not interesting to me. I um, but I'm it. not, I'm not crapping on it. I fo- at I every mean, chance I get, that's for sure. Yeah, I no. follow their socials. I'm a DJ fan, so I watch. I do I miss DJ as well. To yeah, watch DJ play. It's a good point. Care less of yeah. the team atmosphere. It's weird for me, but it's like when a I was college thing, right? Totally. It's college when I was in Mexico, Golf Channel in Mexico is in was only strictly in Spanish, but I could watch live in English mm-hmm. on YouTube. Oh, that's true. So I was watched more live than I did. I think it was the Honda that week or that's something. Fair. And I said, I didn't hate it. Mm-hmm. I would watch it. And they're trying hard. Like, uh, yeah. I think they're going to the U. I can't remember where the next event is. I don't but know either. Like the one hole looks like the 16th, the waste management. They're calling oh, yeah. it the party hole and it's just going to be DJs and booze. And like, Interesting. they're trying. They're definitely trying. You good? I'll be there. DJs <laughs> and booze, that sounds right up your street. <laughs> Once you find out where it is, you'll go. Yeah. 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 No, it'll be uh it'll be interesting stuff. I don't I couldn't even tell you Liv's next stop. That's no, I, and I think that's connected no, from I just think, yeah, I think it's gonna not interest a certain group of people, which sounds like the three of us. Yeah. <laughs> it, it seems to anger a group of people. Yeah. Which I've met some of that where people mm-hmm. just like they hate it. Yeah. And then there's people who are just kind of like PJ Tour is the only thing I'm ever gonna watch. Mm. Yeah. Um and then you got guys that love it. I mean, yep. tons of guys on Instagram are always commenting on PJ Tour, like, oh, the PJ Tour is copying Liv mm-hmm. and you know, Liv's doing good things yeah. for the game. That yep. crowd exists mm-hmm. uh and they're very vocal. 
So yeah, I think Rory made a comment. He's like the live tour has almost helped the PGA tour. I don't know word for word what it was. Yeah, but it he helped the PGA tour like boost some events. And you look back, you know, five years ago was the PGA tour holding out on money yeah. for these players. And now these much. now these boosted events are yeah. the fields are stacked. Like they're, they're stacked. Money's better. Stacked. I mean, yeah. I think uh, three point six for AP yeah. last week. Yeah, it's and, uh, for a guy's first win. For I mean, a guy's first win. Charles Hill was four million uh, for winning the okay. live event. So it's comparable. Yeah. It's, it's it's very comparable. Totally. And I remember thinking that uh, it was when Nick Taylor finished second at the waste management. He made million yeah. bucks. And they said one point like, four. He, yeah, he made he made like yeah yeah like a fortune. Yep. I mean, I mean it's it's come up for yeah. sure. There's yeah, no yeah. question about it. I mean, I, part of me was always thinking like, did you have this money before? Like where yeah, yeah where sure. was this money? And Sponsors, I think that's a big yeah. part of why. You know, Phil and those guys were so outspoken mm. about the whole thing. Like they felt like they were never really getting, you mm. know, the, their fair, fair crack at it. I mean, in fairness to, uh, you know, Phil's definitely a polarizing character. But like, if you look at other sports, mm. basketball players, NBA, professional NBA, yeah. soccer yeah. players, yeah. these guys make a ton of money. MLB, yeah. way more money than golfers yeah. make. Yeah. So, and, and and I get it. Like the audience and the business behind it drives the purses. Mm -hmm. But in fairness, if they've just flipped a switch and now it's 3.6 instead of 1.8 probably yeah. last year honestly right. i think it's gone up by like almost a factor of two yeah Crazy. so the money's been there so yeah i kind of i kind of see what phil's saying but yeah it's kind of hard to support someone whining about an extra million dollars when yeah. you're a you're a multi-hundred millionaire i know it's yeah, kind I know. of you know yeah. i see both sides of it yeah. for sure yep 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 well um on to sort of the you know the channel and and we've came out of the probably the most strenuous if you call it most definitely you know the busiest time we've ever had at the start of the season For we've like, never put out that many uh, videos no. in, in the first two months of the year we had a we had a 28 video and 26 day streak or yeah, something like that in january and then february never you know we we had our trip to scottsdale to yep. pxg but other than that I mean, we were still going going hard at still it three four videos a week yeah what product in in mm. sort of so far in twenty twenty three for each of you guys has stood out as being the one that's in your mind when people ask you about new products this year? I want to hear Mikey's first. I mean, last year I know the Cobra was a big one yeah, for us, but year. I'll tell you for the I'm doing min, you know very minimum fits right now. That Aerojet is just where LTDX left off. Maybe mm. well, maybe, that's good maybe better. I'm glad um, to hear that. I saw you and, saying that in your uh, your Q and A. Yeah, Sunday. I've had guys. Test it with Vanqu Vanquish. We have mm, it on the wall. Yeah. Versus Autoflex doing some own testing. That Vanquish, I've, I'm three. I'm shot. three for three right now. So really, that um, Vanquish. Is, so Vanquish and yeah. Cobra. Vanquish is, and Cobra for me. Um, you know, so it's taking TVs. Oh, TV. TV. oh no, TV. TV. And you I know what happens when you got on a roll with, yeah. with a combo. A TV, TV. I, I do like guy. when you get on a roll. Three wood, five wood was TV. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Aerojet and um, Vanquish and, yeah. and Paradigm. I mean, that driver is. Um, I haven't loved a Callaway driver Do in like a while. I think Epic Max was probably my mm -hmm. Epic Max LS back yeah. in the day. I really like, yeah. but this Aerojet is. Um, I'm definitely going to build one up for myself. Oh. So need to figure out a shaft. You did get a special one in a box. I did get a special one. Not quite special as the one you got in the box. Yeah. The one you I got, got the proper one. I, I don't you know what like I did to deserve it, but case. I thought I thought we were getting a nice treatment and stuff like that. We got it in a lovely box. Yeah, yeah. nice treatment. You we just didn't nice get treatment. that treatment. You Thanks a lot, Lusty. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I did to deserve it. Yeah, that's good. It's on my Instagram somewhere, but the massive gun case. Yeah, yeah. That's got a so that's an LS with a Ventus TR black in it. Proper. They're just expecting me to rip one. Just I don't know gain a bunch of strength and speed but i'll give it a crack give yeah. it a, give it a whirl i got one of those g series from la golf coming in oh do you that in an aerojet yeah it's nice yeah treat yourself i've well, had I mean, one of those for a while those those g series mm -hmm. um yeah and it is a great feeling shaft is it yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah it really is yeah. they've smooth. come out with some good stuff eh lgp they yeah, definitely yeah. Good stuff. we've done well within the studios. A series for drivers and well, drivers have done well. DJs, Bryce, DJs, really good. Um, it's been good. Eh? Expensive. Yeah, yeah, we both played the iron shafts yeah. for a uh, you know a, yeah, a stint right. there. I, mm -hmm. I like them; they were good. So yeah, it's very very popular for us. So you are you're saying you're saying Aerojet? Yeah, with the yeah. with the bonus Vanquish shaft, little Vanquish. Yeah, I like okay. that or a TV. <laughs> I mean, I thought you were going to go over for a different brand, but I'm just going to pile on. It's okay. I think Cobra's new irons are. You like those yeah. outrageously. Yeah, yeah, good point. I just have not had a first impression with mm -hmm. a product like that in a long time. No. Yeah. Um, and I also, I, to be honest, I just, I kind of was rooting for them because I think their woods have come a long way. Yeah. Their irons were always not, I don't know, yeah. in my opinion, anything to really get excited about. Yeah. And they just kind of came out of left field with, with three iron models that mm -hmm. are just sick. So like, good. They're just really good. Plus, they got some tour adoption right away from um, 
non-contracted players, yeah, which yeah. I think is a big deal. I mean, really. Rosie winning with a set of yeah. Cobra Irons was, I think, a bit of a shock to everyone. Yeah. Huge shock. Um, plus, Gary Woodland's using their stuff, and mm-hmm. Ricky's, I mean, mm-hmm. they've, they've got a, I know Rosie's not a staffer, but. Some, he's going he's gonna to move the needle for them a lot, though. Totally. I would say. With the gearheads. The with guys the that gearheads. are on the forum. Yeah. The forums and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, when you look at, when you look at Cobra and, uh, you know, obviously Bryson has now moved Exited. on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Woodland and, and Ricky, you know, you hope those two, you know, Woodland's been playing pretty good. Mm. Ricky's been playing pretty good, but you could do with both of them going on a little bit of a run. You need some wins. You know, I, th- I want to say that's going to maybe clean things up for Cobra a little bit. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, you know, with those two guys, two of the good guys. I think uh, it's an e- excellent public image with both yeah. of them. Because yeah. they're both extremely good, like well-respected. Clean, um, good dudes. They love them. Yeah. Everyone loves them. Yeah. 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 Listen, um, we've staff in the back that are building this stuff day in and day mm-hmm. out. And the weekend after Rosie won, I had two, three guys on staff go, well, I'm going to go hit some Cobra Iron. Yeah. That's and funny. I'm like, yeah, yeah. you didn't say that three yeah. weeks yeah, ago. Yeah. And, and now one guy, he's, he wants to play the rosy set we, we can't even move the needle within our own team after our review of the I know. Irons. But we, we could have spoke more over. highly about them <laughs> move over TXG Rosie's in town Jesus the staff don't watch our videos obviously that's yeah. all yeah, I knew that a while back <laughs> well. <laughs> well I sort of remember getting into that with young Michael here remember so the PJ do, do you remember so no. I'm just sitting there like oh boy it's good sleeping TV. Yeah, <laughs> I saw my old boss back in Scotland says he says, "Ah, oh, I can't sleep one night. I just put on one of your that's... videos and that sends sends me over." <laughs> <laughs> savage, <laughs> savage. Um, yeah, what's it for you? I would say for me, I think G four thirty driver has mm-hmm. uh, has they've produced a driver that that when we were hitting it in, in my driver testing, I mean, it does some funky things. It's fast. Yes. It's so forgiving. We that's a that is a given with uh, with it's been that way for driver. a few years, yeah. yeah. Um, but it has this spin consistency, yeah. spin Whichever retention yeah. uh, that just is almost. It's hard to see how they've achieved it. It is a bit freakish because I remember yeah. doing that video where you're kind of like, "This is what I'm going to play," mm-hmm. and and I'm like, you know, I know you pretty well, and I'm kind of yeah. thinking like, he's going to hit yeah, one this week. three. Yeah. He's going to hit one three grooves low during yeah, the video. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's gonna spin out like thirty two hundred. He's yeah. gonna look back at the camera and be like, "I can't do this." He's I, been getting the this gears for me. for weeks in work. No, We've no, all been giving him pelters. But, but I watched the video, fairness. and it was unreal. That's I what I'm saying. Like, Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Use that it? one we were just talking about spun at twenty seven. Yeah, and then you kind of high face one, and and again, I know you pretty well. You don't yeah. want to see the ball duck left, mm-hmm. and it was like twenty two. I was yeah. like, okay, well here we go. This yeah. is something this special. Is something about yeah, it's different. And also, it being the max model, you don't have to play the LST model, which I find I've still. Have you hit the LST yet? I have. I, I didn't do well with it. So I don't even Struggled think. With yeah, it. I feel like it must sit in a really low spin mm-hmm. window because Max yeah. sits in a. You you always play a low spin driver. You've mm-hmm. I've never seen you play the non low spin of yeah. anything. Yeah. yeah. So if that's the case, then who's the LST for? It must be for a really high spin player. Yeah. I've heard some people say that that it's really low spin for them. Now I haven't haven't seen that. I remember when I first hit it. I remember Nick brought it by the store. Um, it was the first time I got a glimpse of 413 from a cold standing start. Yeah, yeah, 8 o'clock in the morning. 8 o'clock meeting. in the morning. Is that when it was? It was super early, and we've kind of walked in the bay, kind of one of those, you just kind of hit a couple of irons, a couple of uh, rescues, and then you hit the driver. I remember kind of getting a couple of 160, 162 ball speeds on the, the, the max head going, I'm not even really swinging it this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, going, this is really good, and spin was good. And then I hit the LST, and it kind of was like 156, 155 mm-hmm. ball speed. Well, I can't move this thing nearly. It's just nearly not working well. for you the same yeah. way. You walked, then, away, walked away from that meeting, uh-huh. and you're like, "That four thirty is going to be something." Be something, and that, that's that was what your initial of, impression. Yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. So I, you know, initially saw that, and then we went out. Obviously, we went out to Phoenix, and yes. uh, we saw some really good things from out there. Um, but you know, got it in the the bay and go. Yeah. Okay, I need to really see if this is for if this is legit. Yeah, um, I mean, I think you've double checked it enough to have the confidence to take yeah. it into the season and yeah, know, yeah. That, you know. Like if, if you haven't kind of if I haven't seen you searching for something else by now it's been mm-hmm. long enough yeah I, I, I Mikey's doubting you but I think I think I'll see you play at least the first yeah. half of the year with it I yeah. think the day his golf course opens I want to go stand on the first tee and see exactly <laughs> what's in his golf bag you get to telescope from a yeah. mile away what's that no I'm I'm pretty I'm I'm pretty set this year I think my goals are different um, yes that's now point. when it comes to you've said what I'm bunch. doing with my my game you're and, not chasing distance La- no. last year I know distance was a big deal. Yeah, yeah, it was it was still carrying on from twenty one was the year I really had worked hard on, yep. on gaining some speed. Last year, kind of tried to carry it on, never 
Uh, I didn't. Yeah. No, I just didn't. You didn't play a ton either. No, I didn't, didn't play enough. I didn't work hard enough at it. Mm. Um, so, you know, I, I, yeah, once we get further down our swing journey with Scott, uh, I'll, I'll start kind of working a little bit more diligently on speed. Uh, well, I think you've itself. got the foundation for it now. Mm-hmm. I think so. You're yeah. not going to start working on speed and wreck what you've done. Yeah. Yeah. Delivery is going to be good, and then you can. Mm-hmm. I feel the same way. Yeah. As soon as I have a little bit of control over where I think the ball is going to go, mm-hmm. I don't mind swinging faster. Exactly. And, and practicing that as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so definitely. So I think for that reason, I'm not <laughs> as inclined to to you know be looking around yeah. for the knuckleball driver. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I'm yeah. not looking. I'm looking. I'm thinking about everything I do is thinking about how will that perform in a tournament. Yeah, yeah. Stroke, so stroke stroke gained, right? stroke gained, yeah. So whether that's strokes gained, yeah, is it you know a driver that I can get out and play has great start mm. lines. Uh, I'm thinking about my fairy woods from a standpoint of. Uh, if I need to get a ball and play and I'm under a little bit of pressure, I see yeah. it bounce down mm-hmm. the, you know, one side of the golf course and I don't fancy it. Uh, you know, what do I do? And, you know, I've been really working hard at that type of stuff. Um, chatting with Gareth last week about doing some, some sh- starting to get the short game work going. We should definitely yeah. spend some time. Get, He's get a busy guy well. these days, but mm, if we can squeeze in, down. He's doing great on tour. He really, he really is. is. Yeah. So, yeah, it's great but I, to see. I'm anxious to do that too because I think. Yeah. I mean, the, I, I said that to you the other day. We were hitting a few 50 yard pitches for a wedge test. Mm-hmm. I just said like I haven't practiced any know, partial wedges. Like it's embarrassing. All I've been doing is hitting seven iron after yeah. seven iron, a few drivers, but like no short game. Mm-hmm. Obviously, no real short game doesn't yeah, yeah. exist in the winter here anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, come the spring, we both. And you can come to my club with my new short game area. Oh, you guys are more than welcome. That, that right, looks see unbelievable. That. It yeah. looks so good. Dude, it's going to be so good. Yeah. yeah. Open invite. Rufflesky. We should we'll do some filming there. But Gareth, yeah. will, Gareth will come. That would be cool. Yep. Is he going to do like a little official opening? Is he talked about? I don't know because we've had Cut a change. We've had a change of GM over the. Uh, oh really? They're looking. They're they're going right. to hire. So it depends what the board decides. Yeah, yeah. I, I I mean I may throw it in the suggestion box that um, if Gareth is available, he should absolutely totally. come and do a clinic. That would be, be no cool. brainer. Yeah. To get ten to fifteen members to sign up for a clinic with him would be it would be gone in five. Seconds. My cl- my club does it and yeah, it he sells out people yeah. and it's sold out. Well, yeah. You right. know around the time of the Canadian Open as well, it might be nice if if Gareth and Nick. You know, mm, Nick Beans, be cool. you know, who he's been working, you know, really we closely with. We can get him for a little... Little, little open day or something like that. Mm. And, uh, you know, it'll be nice that the turf will have grown in a yeah, little bit it'll more. It'll be good by then, yeah. It'll be good by then. I'll so plant, plant the seed for that. Worth, for the worth looking open. at it for sure. Yeah. yeah. So we've obviously been sharing a lot about our, our swing journeys. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. I haven't asked you, young Michael, what's, what's up? I know. What's up with the game? What's your go- What's your goals? What's your plans? To be honest with you, since the PGA show, I didn't really touch a golf ball for like three weeks. Um, mm-hmm. You were also pretty sick. Yeah, I was pretty fairness. sick. You were, yeah. <laughs> um, and then I just got back from Mexico a couple of weeks ago, so that was kind of the first time we played a Thursday night round of golf and hit it okay. I was like, okay, I could go out and play and not be worried that I'm yeah. going to blast it all over the yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. Um, played well in Mexico. Um, nice. Thank God golf, someone in golf invented a wedge and a putter because yeah, everything else would be no bueno. Um <laughs> But the goals for this season, I mean, look, I'd love to get my cap last year. The lowest was like a two. Mm-hmm. That's my, great. my goal, I'd love to see that as zero. I know that's a lot of work. And I, I told them I read somewhere where it's harder for someone to get their handicap down from a five to a zero than it is from someone who's like a tw- 10 to a five. I've heard that. Um, no, but it's, it goes further. It's yeah. like, it, that's harder than going from like a 25 to a totally. Totally, because it's, it's so many less shots so many. in there, and you just um, you can't make as many mistakes. Yeah, I've always said to people, I don't know how to practice. I don't have the mind frame to practice. I get mm. bored really quickly. I'd rather go hit a hundred wedge shots and then go hit six iron shots and then some drives and then go play. Um, I mean, it's not the worst way to improve. To be honest, I, I got better when I played more golf. Yeah, the year I was slightly in the pluses, it wasn't by much, but yeah. I played a ton. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can't say I. Pr- I mean, I can't say I had dedicated practice days that much. Yeah, yeah. Also, it was because of COVID because the range was like this weird arrangement where you had to book mm-hmm. in advance. Totally, it was like yeah. four stalls. So I was Pain. just like, well, forget Pain. it. I'm just gonna go play golf then. Yeah, exactly. I, I think for me, I need to have like three drills that I consistently work on mm-hmm. to make it easy. Yeah. Um, so not, you, not easy. The golf game is not easy, but for me just to make it simple and yeah, go, okay, yeah, these yeah. are three things I'm going to work on and I'll see it perform on the golf course. Um, but yeah, chipping and putting so far at the start of 23 has been, been good, pretty good. I mean, that's what you need for the spring. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously driver, we all know speed is something I'd love to see more of. I haven't worked on it, so I don't deserve to get faster. Do you, do you want to this year? Yeah. I mean, who doesn't? It's just the effort. We talked about this on the way. I know. Yeah. I was like, I want the world. I want to be a billionaire, but you got to work hard to, to get that. Hard. So, yeah. um, 
I'm jonesing to play golf. Like I just want the golf course to be open and see I'm to feel see your friends too. at the golf club and sit on the lawn and have a drink after. Is golf. that a Canadian thing? Jonesing. I will say this to him. Uh, it probably probably. Is. Yeah, I've never I, like, like I like ur- it. the. I guess that's the urge to play golf. Yeah, would yeah. Be if you're jonesing, yeah. you you're like Jones. Cra- it just means craving. Craving. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, could it be an American thing too? Maybe it's definitely not a UK thing. I know no, that. No, no. <laughs> when you said that first, I'm jonesing. I'm like, yeah, you're like, what? who's Jones? That's chomp, like chomping at the bit would be Jones. to like yep, get to the golf course yeah. and just be on property because I do kind of like live there. You kind of love it. Kind of love it. Well, yeah. you got, you've got a really nice club. I, yeah. Honestly, I feel that way too when I get in a routine of playing a bunch of rounds in a row. Totally. Like, mm-hmm. If I have time to go have lunch, yeah. s- so hang out with some enjoy friends, it. play golf, yeah, yeah. hit a few balls yeah. after, eat that dinner. That group that you generally play with. Same like, group. Like invite my wife to come have dinner after, like yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Like, that's when you actually start to feel part of the club, which I think you've really developed in yeah. the last couple of years, yeah. which is good. Maybe too much. <laughs> nah. It's expensive. Well, whatever. You only yeah, it's once. worth it. Yeah, it's, it's worth it. Can't but, take it with you. Um, yeah, I need to figure out drills, something to work on. I I really need to start using Arcos more religiously to mm-hmm. actually understand my game. Yeah. Because you know, he'll point. ask you me, how did you that. play this weekend? And be, oh, I hit, you know, five good drives. And that's what I live off of that's is the five remember. good drives. Yeah, yeah. For me, it's the first tee. If I hit a good first tee shot... I'm it's walking good, like it's uh, a good feeling, you know, BDE over there. But yeah. um, if I hit one snappy shot, then I'm just miserable. So yeah. Um, yeah, I need to I need to use Arcos and I need to work on drills and just make it simple. Are you gonna do like stack or something for speed? I had a stack. Uh-huh. Uh, it's in Buffalo, New York. What happened? Ian just gave it away. Do you know what? It, it, it walked, <laughs> it walked to Buffalo on its own because it wasn't being used. <laughs> it was yeah. just, it, there was a lack of use. It wanted a partner. It yeah. donated to signs. Okay, well, yeah. I'm sure they'll send you another one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. I liked, I did like Stack the toy two times I used it because <laughs> it kept track of everything. Yeah. I don't want to write things down. I hate numbers. I don't want to write anything down. Um, so, yeah, I should, I mean, so I've got the facility. My cone is handheld. Yeah. Right. I've asked for a coach and no, the coach runs in, away. In, in fairness, though, do you find that if you practice with someone else, Mm-hmm. You enjoy it more. You just don't want to go out there by yourself 100%. and hit balls. I see. I don't blame you. Hundred percent. I, I mean, I've I've hit balls for an hour a day. Yeah. For six or seven days a week. Yeah, yeah. For six months, yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. I can tell you, sometimes I'm just like, I'm I, I'm doing it because I want to do it. Yeah. But it's also like, I mean, nice to be out there with a buddy or like I know I don't know just yeah, anything, yeah. coach something. So I yeah. get it. it. You have to kind of I don't know compartmentalize the, it and just do it for the amount you've practiced. For the last six months, I've taken six hundred thousand videos of his swing. How many videos? <laughs> Your whole how phone many, is how many videos of my swing are there? Zero. Zero. <laughs> no, I gave you a lesson <laughs> twenty five years ago. No PGA show. Oh. Fix you in a heartbeat, didn't yeah. I? I do recall some action on the range. Of the oh, PGA there's show. interference with the podcast. Sorry, <laughs> um, <laughs> the mic broke. No, I, I mean I think yeah, I, for you, you need you need a uh, you need a little bit of a plan around, like you said. Uh, stats mm-hmm. around Arcos you you have an end goal but you've got to build a plan towards totally. the end goal, yeah, yeah. end goal you can you, know, you can you walk 100 miles but you can only take one step at a time totally. you know back totally. to you know back to that you know one thing I always say about our team uh, TXG when we're trying to get better as a company is that you know aggregation of marginal gains mm-hmm. that one percent that you mm-hmm. gain you know in lots of different areas yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like golf is as a game is, is a great place to apply that because you know, you can do a little bit to your short game, do a little mm-hmm. bit to your putting, whether totally. it's just alignment. Yeah, and, yeah. But the accumulation of all those little all, things yeah. all, you know, really, really comes together. So, mm-hmm. you know, I think you've got to analyze your your game for what's really, really good. Uh, analyze your your goals in, in terms yeah. of where you want to get to because the reality is you you built your game to a point where you can go play with anyone on any course and you can you can have you know a good day yeah yeah as good a, as many good days as the the next guy mm-hmm. but is that what you're happy with yeah no i want to be have gooder days <laughs> yeah you want to have yeah. you want to have better days totally i know for sure where distance ranks up there for you which yeah, is yeah. high priority um, number one no number yeah, one. yeah. yeah. you know you need to, you definitely need to um you definitely need to work on on that specifically yeah, yeah. for the next couple of months you know cuz now the now the goal is in sight yeah, yeah. we just said it as we're walking up here six weeks yeah. and you know, well, hope the course will be open. I said six weeks. So so very good. Three foot high. A course will be open, but yeah, you might not want to play exactly. it. Yeah. Like I said, I would literally, hitting the middle of the fairway is the most boring thing of all time. I know you guys. We're just, I, I feel the opposite, but, but, but it's because of, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I would take four yard, four fairways over. They hit it 325, no problem. Wow. Give me a wedge. Funny. Well, you've got, you, you've got the, the accurate part. You yeah. are an accurate driver of the golf ball. Yeah. So um, I think if you can get some yards... <laughs> Put in a little bit of work. 
That's the hard bit. Yeah. Just have to do it. Yeah. yeah. I think for you and I, and we talked a little bit about this on the Q&A on Monday, mm-hmm. we need it now to start thinking about have like a monthly, whether it's a monthly getaway, um, like a, we've got to play somewhere. I feel like at least one th- once a month now for the rest of the the summer. The now it'll be easy when the course is open here. Yeah, yeah. But I think we need a we need That's a couple of trips. I agree. You know, because yeah. like it is like you said, it's hard to just practice and practice with nothing, no outcome, no test paper. Also, the environment change is yeah remarkably important. Like Definitely. When we were out at um, the four of us, where were we chipping and putting? Tranquilo. Tranquilo. I mean, that was a blast. Yeah. yeah it was we blast. all learned a lot about our short games. Yeah, Plus, yeah, I know blast. the range closed early. Learned but like, you dummy does. I mean, I did stomp yeah. you guys out. That'll never happen again. But yeah. you're right, though. When you get outside, it's completely different. Like when I was in Mexico, we went just to hit balls one, mm-hmm. one afternoon and you just like you know, hit one handed shots. You're like, oh, hello, grass. Like, this yeah, is what fun. it feels like, like just, right? It's more yeah. fun. Um, yeah, it is nice to, to get away, especially during the. Crappy I mean, we're obviously spoiled to have the studio. Like, I'm not going to say the studio isn't a great place to practice. It really is. Yeah, But absolutely. in balance, I think. Mm-hmm. To go outside, enjoy a nice yeah. environment. Like when we were in Scottsdale, mm. like stepping on the range despite the weather being a bit crap. It's like yeah. beautiful turf, mm-hmm. nice hitting stations, so hit some targets, mm-hmm. you know, go back and forth, help each other with the, like our swings. Like that kind of stuff I think is just, yeah. it's a more engaging environment to practice. Can't get a sunburn in the base. Oh, no, there's no lights. So I think you maybe could. You might. Just look hard at her hand yeah. Speaking of uh, speaking of our trip to to PXG, that mm. was one of the coolest golf experiences I've ever had. Yeah, easily. I mean, Scottsdale National, what a place! Um, I mean, I think in terms of treatment and and really service you know, level service, you know, the food, the accommodation. Um, you know, I, I don't think I've ever been anywhere that that you know as an all round experience is is as good as that. I know for a fact I've never been anywhere that yeah on that level. Um, we've, we've all probably played golf courses that are as good, um, conditioning wise and design wise. Yeah. It's yeah. an excellent golf course, yeah. but in terms of a, a complete facility, um, as you said, the, the accommodation and the member, like if you're a member Unreal. of that golf course, mm. yeah. I mean, I would never leave. It is insane. We, I nuts. forgot. I mean, I had no desire to go anywhere else. It was like, Oh, we'll go back to the villa, yeah. get ready for dinner. It's like, Oh, we'll go hit some balls before this. Like it just, you're just in mm. that world. It's a world of its own. Even, so even up to the gym, you know, the, the nice little gym, the, they've got, you know, the Pelotons, they've got perfect equipment. Like, if you're a golfer and, and you go and, you know, stay there, practice there, play there, if you're a member, like... It's heaven. It, it literally is heaven on heaven. earth. No, we've all played golf in Arizona. Where does it stack up for you, golf course that you've played? You played there par three, I'm too. curious what you... Oh, yeah, we did. I'm curious it, what you think. I mean, it would be hard to... You know, I think as, as a... And, enjoyable experience right. It was right up there because the fairways were wide I was just gonna the say conditions that. were fantastic yes i mean it was it's, it's right up there very yeah. very playable uh and we Fast played we played too. the other course yeah i would have loved to have had the chance to play both in, in nicer conditions mm. yeah um yeah, it was chilly for you oh, oh freezing it was beyond chilly i felt so bad for you no you didn't i mean it was all roasting <laughs> yeah you were <laughs> you were 800 degrees yeah yeah the other course was not typical desert golf no. it was very generous yeah, yeah, yeah. now to be fair the green complexes were really hard they were very slopey mm-hmm. extremely fast mm-hmm. greens so i think I, i've always said this to you remember we we're talking about pinehurst yeah um i like courses where you have a bit of room to drive the ball yeah, yeah. not too penalizing yeah it's okay to make the green complex hard like that i like the challenge there mm-hmm. yeah i just don't want to stand on every tee like being like just so yeah, tense yeah. and petrified of hitting a crap yeah. shot yeah. give me a little bit of space to kind of mm-hmm. miss it which we had like i remember duck hooking one on that one par short That's par right. four and the ball somehow just like collected to the right same place to where mine was and he hit a great had, drive yeah. like he hit a perfect straight drive mine just kind of like rolled its way down i'm like yeah. great you hit a straight drive perfect straight drive. he hit nice. some nice drives wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean just overall it's it's one of those things it's like i've i've described the experience to a few people mm-hmm. and it's kind of hard to quite put your finger on what it is about it and at the same time i'm kind of like i don't want to almost brag that we've been there because it's like how else do you get in there there was there was a moment uh, on the last night whatever day that was the wednesday night where we were sitting having dinner with alex and the three of us are just sitting going this is really really good you just had a a a great couple of days yeah yeah. the food's been unreal i mean Mm -hmm. like they literally we couldn't have been treated any any better not not I think I was nothing better. I think I was drinking a couple ounces of bourbon from about a five hundred dollar bottle yep. that yep. someone else in the media group picked out. I was yep. just like, I'm I'm literally in I'm heaven. I'm really happy right yeah, now. I'd love to see their wine list. Dude, it's oh, probably you, unbelievable. You should have seen the Oh the, the wine cellar. cellar. Oh, we didn't take a photo for I Mikey. Know, I know. Sorry. We walked by, we're like, there's Mikey's room. No you, one thinks you, about me. Only Matt thinks about me. You were invited. You <laughs> just, no, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. 
Where? You were away. Nah, I wasn't invited. I never folks. even told you that you were invited. Uh, yeah. That's <laughs> right. I enjoyed Mexico. It was roasting. I was sweating. Sunburned. I just uh, saw um, on like a list of most beautiful holes in the world the par three that you played. So Punta good, Mita. dude. It's so good. So, do you, sorry, did you boat across? No, you take like you drive your golf cart. It's like, but it's oh, a bit right. of water. It's, it's two, two, it's two par threes. Okay. So if the tide's in, you play three A. Uh-huh. Oh. And if the tide's out, then you drive this rocky like. So they thing. photograph it when the oh, water's. Yeah. So it, it could so when, be an island. Like when we play in the morning, three A, we still take a crappy ball and we just hit one on. The oh, that's oh fun. so when you were aiming down the right side, you were actually aiming at another green. Aye. He kept posting the same picture. My dad took a rough video. No, uh, he uh, was even. Well, I called my coach, <laughs> and he didn't. My coach didn't pick up. No, I, I sent you a message online. I said, "Stop yeah. aiming so Top far." Stop aiming so far, right? I'm six, for, my head six for six. Hit the green. Did you? Yards. Oh yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Good. Six, six times. Six. Yep. We played six rounds. <laughs> That's outrageously good. From like a two hundred and two hundred baby four iron, T two hundred. Thank you, Titleist. Wow. Sevi will tell me the truth. My dad doesn't know. He was buckled. <laughs> was he? No. A hundred transfusions? Yeah. Yeah, no, it did look good. It did look good. good. Well, we've got a little bit of news. Um, by the time this podcast comes out, we'll be getting close to, to putting the social media post out about it. But yeah. we are uh, we're gonna be heading to New York, you and I. We are. I've never been to I tell you I've never been to New York. Oh, I, we, my. I think you said it uh never on, been to New York. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm so happy. I wish I've been to New York State. I've been to like Buffalo. Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't count. Doesn't love count. you, Buffalo, though. No, no, no. No. You do love Buffalo, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm so excited. But excited I've never been you. to the city, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're only there for 24 hours, but. What? You want to, we can get there. Oh, no, change that. Out. We well, was sightseeing. We are supposed to work on Monday, right? <laughs> I know, I know. Well, well, work we'll schmirk. See. Honestly, we'll so good. We're so going to have dinner there. This is something on, yeah. Try back on Saturday. Yeah, we'll go somewhere nice. I, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't we got time. Oh, for man. Yeah, we got a nice, nice dinner. So what can we? What can we say? We are going. It's it's not gonna. It's gonna be public domain by Thursday. Anyway. Yeah, we'll be th- by Thursday. And this this, this is gonna come out after. after that anyway. So yeah. which is fine. So we are gonna be hosting a, a live Q and A. The first of its in kind, person in person Q and A. Um, so we're gonna have thirty people. Um, with us in the in the New York store. Mm-hmm. Um, there's gonna be. Goodie bags, gifts for everyone who attends. They're going to be, yeah, they're definitely going to be well looked after. They'll be well looked after. Yeah. Um, we are going to do some filming while we're there. Uh, yes. We're going to do a driver fit that will be shown on the channel. We will have, um, you know, YouTube phenomenon, Marquez Brownlee. is going to come cool. and join us uh, for a little look through his bag and cool. uh, just see how he's doing, if any adjustments, you know, need to be made to his bag. Mm. But it'll be nice to touch base with him. See how um, he's doing now. Yeah, yeah, I mean... With all the supply chain stuff, I mean, it was it was late in the year of him getting his stuff in. Anyway, okay, so he know, might so, he might actually need a couple adjustments. Yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. might do, and I doubt he's he's kind of had a whole lot of time to get out and play and stuff yeah, like that. Probably so hasn't. He's a busy guy. Um, do you follow any of his stuff with his yes. ultimate frisbee? Yeah, quite amazing. Yeah, I follow him on Instagram. He's yeah, a busy guy. Impressive. I know. Yeah, yeah. So uh, so it'll be nice to see him. Yep. And then the afternoon, um, you know, we'll we'll do our we'll do our kind of in house Q and A. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. That. It'll be a different yeah. environment. Yeah, we've never done it. Well, no, we've never done it in person before. I mean, no. that I can think of. If your weather's, because we were there last March, mm-hmm. if your weather's anything like it, it's like spring in New York is the, the coolest best. Oh, thing did you guys know. catch spring? It yeah, was, yeah. Well, it was like an early spring. It was an early We went spring. two weeks, but one within a three-week stretch, mm-hmm. kind of, or maybe mm-hmm. a month stretch. Yeah. And it was like every time we were there, it was just mm. unreal. Spring was, was so good. Spring. Oh. I mean, it's three weeks away. It might be nice. It, it, I think, to be honest, by then... Because they're about a month ahead of us. Month ahead, yeah. Uh, is it really? Yeah, yeah, they'll get extra yeah. so close to the know coast. That. Yeah. And that's true. It is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they'll they'll be yeah they'll it'll be nice. It, or hopefully could could maybe maybe not. But like it, it should it's be going to start be getting uh, nice. It won't be shocking. So <sighs> that'd be nice. That'll Sun, be sundress awesome. season in New York City. <sighs> There's no Hello, ladies. Like <laughs> no maybe we so should good. bring you. Oh. <laughs> I'm coming anyways. <laughs> As you should. I'm not going to work. You could be the technician. Production. Saturday, Sunday, you'll be back and work for Monday. Perfect. Sign me up. <laughs> good. Well, yeah. I'll get you booked tonight. Yeah. Yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah. No, that'll be, be good. So uh first first of many. Uh we're planning doing Yeah, this, we're kind of piloting this, aren't we? Yeah, a little bit of a you know, the lads are on tour and yeah. you know, we we'll kind of we're talking about today, I think Club Champion were saying they had two new stores opening in Texas uh, in the next month, month and a You're half not or something. My arm. Like that. I like Texas. You a lot. like Texas. A lot. Um we've got some good reasons to get we're gonna talk uh, we're talking about going to Artisan to see Oh yeah, uh, we could boys. do all that. So there's there's some good reasons to to get to Texas. That'd so, be sweet. Um, that's, that's that's a pretty good reason. Yeah, between that barbecue and Miller Lite. I mean, yeah, reason. Yeah, I yeah. would eat every barbecue. <laughs> eat barbecue breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> without, without. So no, that is uh, 
that's it's coming up quick. Coming up quick, and then before we know it, we're going to be we're going to be in the thick of it. Yeah, mm. golf season. Bring it on, golf season. Can't happen. I'm fast definitely enough. ready. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Well, boys, good, uh, good to kind of get the first one under our belts. And this was fun. We're going to uh, lots, lots more to come. Uh, I think once we get some, well, once we get to announce the guests that uh, we're going to have on the good. on the channel, it's going to be it's going to be nice. Just as I said, interviewing them, chatting Definitely. with them, hearing their stories. There's some people coming on who have got some pretty cool products that we've been reviewing recently. That's true. So um, lots and lots of cool stuff. So looking forward to it. guys. Hope you. Enjoyed having us back. We've enjoyed being back. Mm. And you'll hear us and see us on a weekly basis. Yeah, awesome. can't wait. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right.